Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and the judge in former President Donald Trump's civil trial in New York. Well, he just infuriated the former president, the former president's legal team, and he might have tipped his hand when he had a complete meltdown in court. Before we get started, please make sure you like and share this video. Liking and sharing is really so important to us as a company. It really helps our channel grow. Also, please make sure you comment and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us out. So the judge in his civil trial, he decided that he had had enough of the cross-examination of the former president's former accountant. And what happened was, according to Trump's legal team, the former president's former accountant, he was kind of skirting the questions. He didn't want to give any direct answers. And that really infuriated them. And so they kept asking questions, kept getting into details with him, kept trying to find out exactly what he wasn't answering and why. Well, the judge got furious at this, had a meltdown, slams his hand down on the desk and says, this is ridiculous, which is not really becoming of a judge, if you ask me. Now, when you think about it, it kind of lends some credence to what President Trump was saying when he spoke outside the courtroom. Let's take a look. Okay. Thank you very much. This is a continuation of the single greatest witch hunt of all time. We have a rogue judge who rules that properties are worth a tiny fraction, one one hundred, a tiny fraction of what they actually are. We have a racist attorney general who's a horror show who ran on the basis that she was going to get Trump before she even knew anything about me. She used this to run for governor. She failed in her attempt to run for governor. She had virtually no polling. She came back and she said, well, now I'll go back to get Trump again. And this is what we have. It's a scam. It's a sham. Just so you know, my financial statements are phenomenal. They are actually less in terms of the numbers used than the actual net worth. The actual net worth is substantially more. No bank was affected. No bank was hurt. They don't even know why they have to be involved. And they've so testified. They can't believe that they're involved because they were paid back on time. There were no defaults. There were no problems. And it was like a perfect client. In the meantime, people are being murdered all over the sidewalks of New York. There was no victim here. The banks were represented by the best, biggest, most prestigious law firms in the state of New York, actually in the country. Some of the biggest and best law firms, in all cases, the biggest and best law firms. That's who represented them. The banks got back their money. Again, there was never a default. It was now, the president said that on a different day, or the former president, but you understand the point when the man's slamming his hand down on a desk calling things ridiculous when they're just trying to cross-examine a witness. Ridiculous is a judge slamming his hand down and having a meltdown in court. Folks, I want your opinions on this, so please let me know in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because it really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.